Hi, I'm Dr Matt Slater. I'm a lecturer in Sport and Exercise Psychology here at Staffs University. Uh, and the context of this particular research project, we're interested in um, the psychology of leadership and how leaders best um, harness the mobilisation and ultimately raise the performance and well-being of their groups. Um, and we know from substantial research from ourselves at Staffordshire and also researchers throughout the world that the leaders that are most effective are able to develop and evolve a shared sense of social identity where leaders and followers feel psychological belonging and great connection with one another. But what researchers have maybe overlooked is how we can actually develop that sense of social identity. Uh, and that was a key area that we're interested in within this manuscript and something that we're interested in more broadly um, with our research at Staffordshire. Ultimately in this manuscript we proposed um, a framework for developing uh, social identity leadership within change management. So we built on Professor Alex Haslam's work who proposed a 3R framework around the stages of reflecting, representing and realising. Um, and what we did was we tried to extend this by suggesting that perhaps there's a fourth R within that process as well. The fourth R being termed as reappraisal. So this is the idea that identity leaders, if they're able to implement um, kind of the framework, there's a fourth stage where the followers are better able to appraise the demands of the stressful situation and perhaps they're more able to deal with the demands of the situation and perceive that stress in more of an adaptive way and more of a challenged way rather than being threatened by the stress. I guess the implications are that this 4R framework is an evidence-based programme that can be used by leaders to develop their leadership. The vision of the programme is about developing connections between followers and leaders and we know that's very different to how leadership development is typically done. So there's a lot of work to do in that area, which is novel. Um, and also we know that stress and leadership are pervasive topics within life. So actually if leaders are able to develop in line with this framework, they'd be better able, a better place for their followers to deal with the demands of performance and high pressure situations and see stress as a positive challenge aspect rather than a threat. 